Hey guys, it's Dan or Crazy Bad Cuber. Yesterday I uploaded a video unboxing 500 speed cubes, all the same ones, and it's all the cheapest speed cube you can get. And I got the cheapest one because there's 500. It would cost a fortune if I got some of the top end Moyus or something like that. But a lot of people wanted to know why I bought those, and uh, it's a very simple explanation. I want to create Rubik's Cube mosaic art, and if you don't know what that is, basically if you take a Rubik's Cube, you've got nine squares, as we all know, and if you think of those as a pixel on each square of a picture, you would need a lot of Rubik's Cubes to make a full picture with lots of pixels. Now even at 500 Rubik's Cubes, having this many still doesn't give you a lot of detail in a picture, but it's enough to make some pretty cool pictures. And that's what I plan to do. And hopefully in the future I can get even more. But I have to build these on my floor for now. I didn't really think about this when I bought them because most of the time you build them up against a wall or something. And so I tried that, but it turns out that when you start stacking them, they just topple over. Um, so you kind of need it, like if you're looking at the wall this way, you kind of need it angled so they're kind of sitting like this and they don't fall over. And then you kind of need something on the sides to brace them so they don't fall this way or that way either. So I went to the hardware store today trying to find something like that, but I, I honestly just can't find something that big that I can fit in my car. I'd have to like strap it to my car. I'd have to like literally build something to put them on. So for now, I can only do it on my floor in my living room, which is very thick carpet. So they don't sit completely flat and it's just not what I want. Um, so hopefully over time I can construct something that makes it better. And this is already 500. If I had a thousand, which uh, I kind of maybe want to do in the future, get another 500, uh, I would need a much bigger space to do it. Uh, I didn't think, because I mean, the tripod right now is sitting on the first mosaic, which I'm, I'm going to show you guys in a second, and the time lapse of me building it. Um, but this is huge already. I would need a massive space. And to make really good detailed pictures, I think you need at least 4,000 Rubik's Cubes or more. And judging by how much 500 costs, that would cost a lot of money. Um, so I also want to thank the cubicle.us for helping me get these. Uh, I am sponsored by them as in they send me puzzles to review for you guys and stuff, but they did not sponsor these. Uh, they kind of half did, I guess. Um, they kind of just hooked me up with the supplier in China and had them sent over to me and then I paid for those. Um, so I did get them at wholesale cost. So it didn't cost me like, you know, thousands of dollars for these or anything like that. So because the cubicle hooked me up with these, I made the cubicle logo. Now this is a very, very easy thing to make because most of them, you know, like all these oranges and blues and stuff like that, they're pretty much solid. They're still solved cubes. It's very easy to do that. It's only when they kind of go angled like this that you have to start actually doing some work on the puzzles themselves. So this is a very easy one. I decided to do the cubicle logo one, because they helped me get these puzzles. Two, I'm sponsored by them. And three, it's a very easy, basic, simple mosaic to start with. Now, it doesn't look too bad on the floor, but I would much prefer, and you'll see in the time lapse that I'm about to show you, that I would have much preferred to have this against the wall with better lighting, maybe better cinematography. I just did this one as a test, so here's the footage of me doing it. So you can see the logo in there, but it's not quite super detailed. I mean, you get the idea, but you would need a lot more Rubik's Cubes in order to make something really detailed, especially somebody's face or something like that. So given the amount of Rubik's Cubes I have and that you guys have seen how pixelated it does look, leave comments down below letting me know what you would like me to make mosaics of. I will look it up on the internet and I will put it in the program and get the plans for it and I might use your idea, and if I do, I'll credit you for it. Anyways guys, that's what I got them for. They're not for a giveaway, which is what a lot of people thought, 
And uh, I'm going to start getting into building mosaics quite often. Hopefully I can, you know, get one up a week or one every two weeks or something like that. Um, again, leave your ideas. Let me know if you like this idea. I think it's pretty cool. Not a lot of people in the Cuban community are doing this. It's mostly just like a random one here or there once a year or something like that. Some people have built elaborate ones with like 4,000 Rubik's Cubes. But that's a lot of space and that's a lot of cubes. And I think that if I was to get more of these, I don't know how long these are going to be in production. But if I was to get more cubes, I'd want to get the same ones, or at least ones of the exact same size, but like the colors have to match too. I wouldn't want to have to re-sticker these. When I took it apart, I'll tell you guys, when I did that unboxing, the biggest, like the longest process of that unboxing was taking these out of their individual boxes. Have you ever seen those videos of Chinese factory workers on YouTube and it's like most amazing workers ever and they're like doing the same process over and over and over and over again? and you're just kind of like, wow, that person is so good at their job, they're so efficient. I actually felt like that taking these out of the boxes because I got a rhythm going and, uh, and I was just like getting them out of the box super, super fast. What I'm very, two things, two things I'm extremely grateful for that I didn't think of when I bought these. I was hoping they were not wrapped in plastic because I had to take it out of the box and then deal with the plastic itself as well. And they weren't wrapped in plastic. And the other thing is there's no logo on the white side. There's no logos anywhere. I would have had to take each logo off of every white side otherwise you would have seen that uh, other color in the center of the white. Uh, I'm so glad that this worked out. <laughs> Anyways guys, leave your ideas for what kind of mosaics I should build and if I use yours I will credit you in the video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video.